Good morning everyone and welcome to this week's Cookery Club. The weather has been absolutely lovely and I bet lots of you have got the barbecues out. But today I'm going to show you how to make your own burgers. They're really easy to make, believe it or not. A lot of these things can be rustled up in such a short amount of time. You just need an onion, some mince, some dried herbs and an egg to bring it all together. So let's get started. Okay, so let's just run through what you're going to need to pull these together. So you will need a bowl, not a massive one, this size is fine, spoon, a couple of sharp knives, chopping board and your ingredients. You'll also need a frying pan. Now I'm using quite a big one here, but if you've got something smaller, it's absolutely fine. So what's going to happen is I am going to guide you through, give you a brief rundown of how we're going to do this because it is very fast. So we start off with our onion and we're going to cut that into small pieces. So make sure you use a good chopping board and top and tail your onion. I've decided not to fill in my face for this point because to be honest the tears will probably be tripping me by the end of it. Just take the skin off. And remove it from your board. Just take that all away so that it doesn't get caught up with what we're going to put in our pan. And we're just going to cut it across. And then let's take it back again. And it's all going to slide out. So any of those last bits, you can just take the knife down through them. And bring that down. Make sure you keep bringing that in and once it looks like it's small enough and you're happy with it. I'm pretty happy with that one. Let's get it over. We'll just do the other side here. And that's that. So the next stage now is to add the onion into the pan. So I'll just tilt this down. And in it goes. So you keep this on a nice medium heat. There's a little bit of oil in there, you don't need too much. Um, I'm actually using the Fry Light uh, olive oil, but you can just use normal olive oil if you like. Totally up to you. Use what you have, don't go out and buy new things to be cooking some of these recipes, they, they don't require it. So now that I've got my hand in here, it is a little wet, so I'm going to add just a little bit of flour over it. And we'll start to incorporate that in, so you can see it's all coming together. Um, if you find that you've got, it's disgusting, but it's worth it in the end. Um, so we're gonna have to start and make our patties up. So let's lift this side. Now I'm gonna give my hands a quick wash. I would advise you to do the same or else it just keeps sticking. We have our, our mix now. We're gonna make it into the patties. What I, um, what I will say is, just make them up, maybe cook them in a little bit of flour if you have it. It's not essential, don't worry about it if you don't have it. So when you have your mince brought together, and it should be of this general consistency where it does hold its own, that's when we're going to start making it into the patties. So back on the board, this needs to go into four. So the best way I can do that is by cutting it up. Let's leave that wee bit aside. So we'll see if we need it. So what I am going to do is just put 
put a little bit of flour on the board. number one. Now I think I might actually get an extra burger out of this so let's see how it goes. Number two. Now it's time to pop them on the pan. So when you have your burgers ready, and whatever size you, you choose, then you can go ahead and put them in your pan. Remember that we're going to aim to cook them for five to six minutes on each side, but they do need to be browned, and you do need to cook them well enough so that they are cooked in the inside and no longer pink. Use a sharp knife just to test the inside before you serve them really important and um, we don't want anybody getting sick. So here's the pan, a little bit more spray oil, it is quite hot. Make sure that you bring the correct tools out, so make sure you have your fish slice. So while those are cooking on the pan or the barbecue, it's a good time to get plated up, get your bath out, get the, the salad and the dressings out that you're going to put on it. So whether or not you're going for good old fashioned tomato ketchup, um, some Coleraine cheese slices, or maybe you want to grate your own cheddar, or slice your cheddar with some relish, it's completely up to you. So you can actually, if you want, you can um, toast the bath, just cut it in half put it onto the grill for a minute or so on a, under a light heat. Uh, again, not essential, or if you're using it or having a barbecue, you can just set it on the barbecue just to warm it up for you. Totally up to you, personal preference as always. Let's see how these guys are doing. When you've completed that, then it's time to take it off the pan. It'd be a good idea to put um, your cheese slice on then, maybe put it onto the grill, and then you can take it off, get it in the bath, and then we can get started. So now that your burgers have finished, it's time to get them into the bath and on your plate. So here goes. Now, Bearing in mind, I put my cheese slice on before it went onto the grill just to melt it a little bit. Onto our bath it goes. Are we going for ketchup? Yes, I think so. Loads of ketchup. On with the top of the bath. And there you have it. I am really excited. This is going to be my lunch and I am really looking forward to it because I don't eat lunches like this on a normal basis. But I think this is going to be super tasty. It was quick, it was easy to make, it didn't cost too much and you can do it too.